We say goodbye to region 2745 as it rotates off of the sun's west limb and hello to an old set of coronal holes that are rotating into Earth view and they could bring us some more solar storming. Those stories are more in the news this week. This forecast sponsored in part by Eric Johansson. Check him out at instagram.com slash scubist. Space weather this week continues to be a bit on the calm side. As we switch to our front side sun, you can see region 2745 as it rotates off of the sun's west limb. It's kind of decaying. It's not really all that bright anymore, so it's not boosting the solar flux much for amateur radio operators and emergency responders. On top of that, we do have a finger-like coronal hole from the southern pole that's giving us a little bit of fast solar wind. It could boost activity uh, over the next day or two at high latitudes, but probably not that much to talk about. The real thing to talk about is on the sun's east limb, as you look, you can see a dark coronal hole beginning to rotate into view. That is the first of at least three coronal holes that will be rotating into Earth view here in the next week. And these regions have brought us up to storm levels before. As we switch to our backside sun, where our partially backside sun, this is stereo, you can actually see those coronal holes, bam, 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 all kind of in a row like that. As those regions rotate through the Earth strike zone, it could bump us up to storm levels and bring aurora down to mid latitudes just like it did about a month ago. So your aurora photographers, hey, you have something to look forward to. Switching to our moon, we are now passing through the third quarter phase on our way to a new moon. And by the 29th, the moon will only be about 13% illuminated. So you night sky watchers, now's a good time to start looking for those dim objects in the sky. Switching to our solar storm conditions and aurora possibilities over the coming week, we are anticipating a little bit of disturbance from a finger-like coronal hole that's sending us just a little bit of fast solar wind. At high latitudes, NOAA is expecting unsettled to active conditions with up to about a 20% chance of a minor storm, but this is not going to last all that long. At mid-latitudes, we're really expecting unsettled conditions with up to about a 10 to 15% chance of active conditions. So most likely mid-latitude aurora photographers, you're going to have to sit this one out. There's not going to be a lot going on. It's just a little bit of a disturbance. And the real story for Aurora, that's going to happen in about a week when those set of coronal holes begin to rotate in through the Earth strike zone. Switching to our solar flare and particle radiation storm outlook over the coming week, everything is in the green when it comes to big solar flares. We have a spotless sun right now, and old region 2745 is definitely decayed and it's rotated off of the sun's west limb. So we don't have any risk for radio blackouts, and this should make GPS users on Earth's day side very happy. Unfortunately, it also means that our solar flux is still sitting at the mid-60s, and this is a uh, poor radio propagation for amateur radio operators and emergency responders. Sorry about this, guys, but this is really the story, and it's going to continue to be the story easily over the next week. This is solar minimum, and that's just the way things are. Now, also, because it is solar minimum, we do have a higher cosmic ray uh, flux impinging on Earth than we normally would have. So all you frequent flyers, and this does include air crew who fly over 800 hours annually and fly at high latitudes and high altitudes, you are in the moderate range for radiation dose, and this does include prenatal passengers. So please take this into consideration in your flight plans. So the space weather this week continues to be a bit on the calm side. We do have a finger-like coronal hole that is rotating into the Earth strike zone right now. It could be sending us just a little bit of fast solar wind here over the next day or two, but don't expect it to give us all that much activity. So aurora photographers at mid-latitude, you're definitely going to have to sit this one out. But we do have a set of coronal holes that's rotating back into Earth view, and it could be bringing us some storm levels starting at about oh, a little bit more than a week, maybe 10 days or so. So wait for it. Just wait for it. Now, amateur radio operators and emergency responders, I know things are pretty dismal. Solar flux is sitting in this mid-60s. I sound like a broken record. I know. And unfortunately, the bright regions that are rotating into Earth view really aren't all that bright. So don't expect to get much of a reprieve. We're probably going to be sitting in the mid-60s, maybe the high 60s, easily over the next week. So radio propagation will continue to be poor. Now, about the only people who are really enjoying things this week are GPS users. You guys love it when the solar flux is really low, so enjoy the great GPS reception pretty much all around the globe. 
I'm Tamitha Scove. Thank you for watching.